it's Riley. Um, I think this is my fourth video update. So here we go. What I have been up to is I had my camping weekend in Taublet, and when I got there, it was really cool because I arrived and there at the train station there was a bunch of the exchange students so it was like oh my god it's so great to see everyone again and we were all squealing and it was awesome and then we took a bus up Taupless Mountain and when we got to the um, place that we were staying the um, the hotel hotel yeah it's a hotel um, we got our rooms assigned to us, and I was with the two other Veralbert girls and a girl from France. So that was really cool because I hadn't really gotten to talk to the girl from France, and she's super, super nice, um, and I'm really happy about that. Then um, later that night, we all had dinner, and I wasn't very hungry, and I think it was just altitude sickness that got to me, so I didn't really eat that much. And it was kind of gross because the spaghetti, like the meat sauce on it, it looked like dog food, and it kind of tasted like dog food. So I didn't really eat, but the next day we had our hiking and I thought that it wouldn't be like that bad and they were saying that we were going to have to go on the easy course because of the fog that there was. So I was okay with that because I just wanted to hike and I wanted to be with my friends. But when we finally got hiking, we were on a road and I was like, okay, this isn't really hiking. And then we were going downhill a lot and I was like, yay, downhill. But I didn't think about having to go all the way back up. And it turns out that the way back up was like a half an hour straight uphill. So I had to stop so many times to try and catch my breath. And like I was with my friends and we were talking and everything and it was super cool. And I was like talking to um, the oldies, which are the people that go that are in Austria from January to January instead of like I am from August to like July. But they were super nice to me. Yeah, but on the way back up, it was so hard and I was so tired. And when I finally got back to the hotel, I was really, really sick. And I think that it was just because we were going up and down so much that my body just couldn't process it all. So there was a nighttime hike, but I went to bed instead. And um, I fell asleep, I think. I was listening to my music and I fell asleep for an hour and a half or two hours. But I also had like a nose problem and my throat was really sore because I had to breathe my mouth open. So that kind of sucked. And then everyone got back and they were super, super loud. And all I wanted to do was sleep because I was so nauseous. And I think I spent like an hour on and off. Like whenever I moved, I would start clenching my head and be like, ah, because it hurt so bad. Like I've never experienced that much of a cop before. Oh, sorry. Of a headache before. And it was horrible but the next day I woke up and I felt a little bit better so my group was one of the ones that had to leave earliest because Vorarlberg was about a nine hour train ride from Tauplitz and my oldies were switching the train like the train schedule all the time they were like oh well we can just say that we missed our train and stop in Salzburg for six hours and then we'll get back at like midnight. And I'm like, I have to go to school tomorrow, so I can't do that. You guys need to put me on a train that will get me home at a reasonable time. And they were, they were like, I think they were frustrated and I was frustrated. And me and my friend Lindsay, who she's an egg, which is like 25 minutes away from where I live in Vorarlberg. We were both just like, we both want to get home. We're both tired. We're all grouchy. Like... We've been around each other for too long, I'm sorry, but this is not okay, we need to get home. So they put us on a train back, and that was really cool. Um, Lindsay and I, we had two seats, but the other two across from us were reserved um, from Innsbruck to Salzburg. No, from Salzburg to Innsbruck, yeah, that, that's what, I'm getting everything mixed up. I, my brain isn't working right now, I'll explain that in a little bit. But we were going from the train, and... We set, ended up sitting with our friend who lives in Innsbruck, Nicole, and she's actually coming um, tomorrow, so on Saturday. She's coming here to Dornbier, and we're going to go shopping, and we're going to go to a really good restaurant that has amazing french fries, and we're going to pick out and be exchange students, and I'm really happy about that. <laughs> but when we finally got back, I think it was like 8.30, and my parents were, my host parents were like, whoa, you're back really early, and I'm like, yeah, I took an earlier train, I just wanted to be back, and they're like, okay cool but when I told my host mom that I thought I was sick she was so fantastic about it and she gave me like stuff for my throat ache stuff for my headache 
Um, she gave me stuff to like, like a drink to help me sleep. So that was really spectacular of her to do. And I feel so much better now, but I ended up not going to school on Monday because my alarm didn't go off for some reason. And I just, she came into my room at seven and was like, Riley, are you going to school? And I was like, um, no. And she was like, okay, just spend a day to get better. So I did and I woke up, at, I fell back asleep but I ended up waking back up at like 9.30 I think. I felt really good but I just spent the day on my computer and sleeping and it was just really nice to kind of um, just relax for the day. The rest of the week was pretty uneventful. I had a PE class today that was so hard. Okay, so being an exchange student, instead of being homesick, you eat and that is just the way that you cope with everything. So I have been eating a lot, but I haven't been gaining weight, which is really weird because I think that like my main meals are really, really healthy. So that like counteracts all the crap food that I'm eating, but I have like Twix and like Pringles and like milk of chocolate and all of this food. And I like, I snack all the time. So like I'm not gaining weight, but it, but like, I can't really run that well. Physical activity is not my best friend right now, but I can like play sports because sports, like that kind of running is fine with me, but just going on a track and running, I hate, I've always hated it. I cannot do it. It just is not my thing. I appreciate all the people out there who like running, but I cannot do it. And my PE teacher, she had us run for like an hour and 20 minutes and just straight running, just around Dornbier and like there's um, the Rhine, which is um, like a river that runs, that um, separates all the cities and everything. And my teacher had us run a trail that goes all the way around it in Dornbier and it was so horrible. I was so tired, like I walked half of it, I think. And I was like, I was kind of disappointed in myself, but now I'm looking back at it, like I couldn't breathe, like the underside of my stomach was all cramped up. I think like half of the girls in my class ended up just walking because we're like, yeah, no, this is not happening. This is our third class. And they missed class last week because my class had something to do, but I was on the train over to Taublitz. So like none of us really get a lot of physical activity. So having us run for an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half is not like that. That's insane. Finally got back, a bunch of the girls had showered and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird because in the US I don't shower after PE. But they're like, do you want to shower? And I'm like, no, I'm okay, thanks. And like, I was sweating and gross. I'm going to have to take another shower tonight. I took one last night thinking it wouldn't be that bad running. And I was wrong, so I'm going to have to shower tonight. In my math class, I sat down with my notebook and my teacher had to leave early because he had... Um, a wedding to go to I guess so my class was working on something and I was sitting down and writing down all of the restaurant food that I miss <laughs> like you don't know how much you miss red robin french fries until you cannot get them anymore or like the Spanish restaurant that's down the street from my house it's called El Sol de Mexico they have the best chicken enchiladas ever and I can't get them here and it's so frustrating because they like they don't have Mexican food here and they don't really have like Chinese food either and their sushi isn't super good so like I'm really missing my American food so I was writing down all of the restaurants and like a chocolate malt they their milkshakes is liter are literally just like flavoring and milk and they mix it up and that's a milkshake so totally different for me so I'm like writing down all the food that I miss and then I I finish my list and there's still like half an hour left of class so I sit on my um I sit on my iPhone and I watch videos from District 5100, which is my district from back in Oregon. And the people around my class kind of start looking over. They're like, what's that? And I'm like, oh, this is just videos of um, things at this talent show. And they're watching it. And it was they did um, the J-pop dance for the people that were from Japan, the people going to Japan. They were watching the video. And I started singing the song. And they all started laughing and turned back to their work. And I was like, yep, yeah, this is what I do because... This paper that he gave us, I can't understand. So that's super fun. So I got back home and I have a guitar lesson at four o'clock today. I'm gonna meet with the professor or the teacher or whatever. My brain is so mentally confused on what to call teachers right now. There's like two different words in German. I wanna say teacher, which is like Lehrerin, but you can also say professor. And I'm super, ugh, my brain is not working. But I've got the guitar thing. 
And then I guess there's like a cabaret or something my husband was taking to. My host mom just looked at me and was like, cabaret, Austin act. And I'm like, okay, cool, like smile and nod. That's how I'm going to get through. Oh, it was super exciting though. My host mom, yesterday, we were talking at night and I was like explaining something. And she was, we were, it was after I explained it, and I was like, sorry, my German isn't very good. And she was like, no, no, your German's getting a lot better. It's still not very good, but it's getting a lot better. And I was like, oh, yay, awesome. And that was super, super cool. And I felt really, really accomplished. But tomorrow, Nicole comes. I'm really excited because I haven't seen her since Tauplitz. And she's like one of my really close friends. And she's super into the whole let's pig out and shop. <laughs> <laughs> which I haven't shopped in a while and I need new clothes because I keep wearing the same things but I'm one of those people where I have a big closet back home so I don't really wear the same thing very often but here I'm wearing the same thing so often and it's killing me so I'm gonna go get new clothes that's what I've been doing I will update you guys when I can when I'm not so tired I'm sorry if this is a lot of energy this is my I'm so tired I have all this energy and then I'm gonna crash at, like after my guitar lesson I'm gonna crash so hard I'm so tired right now my brain feels like it's on fire I will have another video up when I can hopefully in a week okay love you guys bye <laughs>